Hey, thanks for checking us out. I'm Core Crossan. This is Crossan C's Monday Trends, and this week I'm going to be talking about NFTs, what they are, where they're trending, why they're trending, and how you can make some money off of them. That being said, remember to like, share, subscribe. Also, in the description box below, there's going to be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it, get on my email list, and uh, watch the video afterwards. It really helped me and helped me get started online and pointed in the right direction to actually make money online and build long-term long -term income. That being said, uh, let's get to those trends. All right, so here, NFTs, and I did quotation mark instead of apostrophe. Sorry, I'm in a little bit of a rush, so I didn't really proofread, and even when I do proofread, I miss stuff. So let's get on to this Monday's trend. So what is a NFT? This is supposed to be A and not N. A non-fungible token, meaning that it cannot be replaced. If you copy it, it doesn't really work that way. Uh, when you buy an a NFT, you are buying a digital recording of ownership of a token, which can then be transferred to a digital wallet. So digital wallet, just like crypto. Um, but unlike, uh, let's say, the, the dollar bill where it can be switched out, one dollar bill could be switched out with another dollar bill um it doesn't work that way uh it's a unique thing and it they use um i think they use some of the same technology as um, crypto to make it um unique that way uh, i'm not an expert on it and i don't know much about the technical stuff of tech of crypto or nfts so sorry about that anyway so why is it trending it's trending is that younger generations are into investing through non-traditional ways. Um, they see people work their entire lives and be broke at the end. They see people uh, invest and still not have any money. And so if you think about it, a savings account has horrible return. It doesn't even give you the same. Uh, it doesn't even counteract inflation. So why would you put your money in a savings account if you can do something else and make huge amounts of money. The earning potential for uh, non-traditional ways is very high, but I believe the risk is also very high. Uh, one of the reasons why it's also trending is it's the talk is that it's going it will replace or be the new fine art collecting space. So people are using this like trading cards, uh, they're tra trading them around, uh, selling them. They're collectible and uh, some people just like to flex like it it may not even be that great of an art piece but it costs like a million dollars so they do it and like yes i have this million dollar nft and you know why do you buy it well, what can you do with it absolutely nothing not a thing i own it you know it's just it's worth a million dollars because i paid a million dollars for it yeah but who are you gonna but i, I yeah um as you can tell, I do not get it. I would Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. Anyway, some people are making big bucks buying and selling this stuff. Because of social media, uh, when someone makes a lot of money, they post it on there, it goes viral, and it makes it people like get a fever. They're like, man, times are tough. I don't want to go to job and catch the coronavirus. I will buy and sell NFTs. Sounds like a big, big, uh, oh, way better deal. So where is it trending? So Google Trends shows that NFTs are are in had a huge surge uh, earlier this year in popularity, then dropped. Like it was a huge drop, uh, but now it's right back up of being popular. Still doesn't really show that it has staying power, but it does show that uh, it took a hit and now it keeps on going. Uh, on Bing, the term NFT looks like it's going down, but related terms are starting to surge. surge. Terms like top 10 NFTs, what are NFTs, and how to make a NFT. I think this is interesting because people are getting uh, more in-depth in their knowledge of NFTs instead of just typing in NFT. They're looking for things related to it. They're trying to search it, trying to evaluate NFTs. And that means there's um, people are investing their time and their money in it. And I think that's a very good sign. So one thing that's interesting... Uh, Pinterest, not so much. I looked on Pinterest, didn't find very many people posting about it. Didn't find they didn't even have a hashtag when I went to uh, Pinterest Trends. They didn't even they didn't have a hashtag for it. Uh, that or related terms, they just didn't have it. Uh, even NFT actually popped up something about gardens, and once I saw that, I was like, yeah, never mind. What's interesting is that most of the people that are searching for 
NFTs online, let's say Google and Bing, are mostly male. And so that's I find it really interesting that Pinterest is mostly female. Um, I mean, the majority is female. And they don't have uh, NFTs on there. And that's I just think that's interesting. Little little fact for you guys. Uh, Facebook has uh, 54,000 people posting about it. LinkedIn and Facebook, I wasn't able to find hashtags with a, uh, data on it. I just that's just what I found. I found so here are the big dogs. Instagram has their NFTs with a few million views and related search terms not far behind. So all together, their NFTs with their related search terms millions, right? And that's interesting because Instagram is get, again a younger uh, generation, younger uh, viewing audience. TikTok has about 1.3 billion views for the hashtag nft alone and then 20 million for non-fung uh what does this tell you younger people are inter interested in nfts and if you're going to build a following on around nfts do it on insta and tiktok uh the blogging as well because it's google and bing right i'll give you a lot of topics to write about there may be little to no competition focusing content towards older generation wanting to know about nfts so uh the reason why i put that in there say you're writing a blog or you have a smaller instagram account and you want to rank something you want to get there right before the trend takes off uh, i think this might be a good one uh focusing your content for older generations more on gener uh, definitions more on um how to do a, a more in-depth research something uh as it, nfts start to go out more into the mainstream uh, older generations will catch on and want to know more about it and gear your uh, content towards them and uh, you're I believe you're gonna probably gonna catch a trend and get a few followers from that and what else is it telling more people are trying to make nfts yeah more people are trying to make nfts that was an, one of the search terms that was one of the things I saw on YouTube uh, people are interested in making nfts even on Fiverr there people are already posting how they can make you nfts so how can you make money off of this? You can learn to, uh, to create some and sell them. I've heard it might cost up to 30 K, uh, much less if you lose, if you use a clone, uh, thing, I, I, I don't know what that means. So, um, just, just do some research. You don't have to take my word for it. Uh, teach people to make their own. So after you learn it, you could also teach people to make their own. Or if you're already knowledgeable about that, teach people to make their own. Uh, you could do a course and sell. Lots of people sell courses on stuff they hardly know about. And they make money off of it. Like, uh, who's that one guy? Oh, uh, man. There's a guy who uh, teaches people about their finances and how to become rich. And he only got rich by selling books about how to be rich, which is amazing. <laughs> so um, I, I just thought that was cool. Start a business that handles the process for people wanting to sell their art as NFTs. The cool thing about NFTs, it's not like a painting where you sell it once and now you no longer the artist no longer has control over it. NFTs have a feature where you can the artist can sell it and then retain a portion of future sales. They get a percentage of it. I think that's just amazing. Um, it's their art, they made it. Uh, it's kind of like uh, um, buying the print and then you always have the original but if you're like me and uh, you don't want to start a business that handles the process for wanting and selling their art as uh, selling people's art nfts you're not very technical i would focus on blogs creating account and content creating a following and selling to them either alternate ways to make money online maybe um, creating uh, NFTs is just way out of their league and they're not very technical. Uh, they don't know the technical processes of it uh, and they want something uh, that's a little closer to home that makes them a little feel that makes more sense to them. Uh, that's a little more stable. Then, um, yeah, do what I do and make content around certain subjects and do that. All right. I hope that helped. That being said, remember to like, share, subscribe. Also in the description box below, there's going to be a link to my number one way to make money online. Click on it. Watch that video because it's a video that really helped me and I want to give you guys the same opportunity I had and get connected to the right group of people that can help get you started online and making money. Uh, all right. You guys have a good one.